Hey guys, welcome to All Electronics. I'm Gregory. Today you're gonna talk about frequency multipliers. You're gonna see how it works and you're gonna build in the bench and test this prototype here that can multiply an input frequency by three. Let's go. So guys, frequency multiplying is a very important topic in frequency synthesizing and radio frequency electronics. Today we're gonna see one way of doing frequency multiplying. We're gonna use non-linearities to generate harmonics of a signal and a bandpass filter to filter only the desired harmonics we need. The main goal of frequency multipliers is to have on the input a frequency and at the output a multiple of the input frequency. And the output frequency need to be in phase or need to have phase coherence with the input frequency. This is very important in radio frequency electronics frequency synthesizing, PLLs, and telecommunications. This method here of doing frequency multiplying is very interesting because it has very low phase noise and the output frequency and the output phase will be always in phase with the input because the output is harmonic of the input that's generated by this non-linearity here in the middle of the process. We start with an input frequency that is the input of our multiplier block and we amplify it until it clips or clamps. So we add a lot of harmonic distortion on the signal. The output of the clipping block is a signal that has the same phase of the input, the same frequency, but it's rich in harmonics because it clipped and now it looks like a square wave. So here with odd harmonic distortion, we have the third, the fifth, the seventh harmonic of the signal. Now we can bend past this signal here to only pass the harmonic we desire. So here we're gonna multiply the signal by three. So we're gonna filter the signal only in the third harmonic. In the output of the filter, we're gonna have a very small signal that has phase coherence with the input signal and has triple the frequency because it's the third harmonic of the input frequency. Now we can use a linear amplifier to amplify this small signal here and get the output frequency. This is very interesting because if we use a filter here with a high Q, a very high quality factor, we're gonna have on the output a very linear sinusoidal signal and when amplified by a linear amplifier, the output will be a sinusoidal signal with very low distortion and very low phase noise. As the output signal is an harmonic of the input, the phase noise is almost preserved from the input to the output. Here you can see and understand the system using the spectrum of the signal in each step. The input is a sinusoidal signal, a perfect sinusoidal signal. Here on the clipping stage you have all the harmonics of the signal that's generated by the harmonic distortion of this non-linear circuit here. The bandpass filter will only filter the signal we gonna have on the output. So here we want to use the third harmonic of the signal. On the output of the filter, we have a very low signal with th three times the frequency. And after the amplifier, we can make up the gain of the signal to have a useful signal on the output. This is the circuit I designed it and prototyped it here. And it works very well. In the input, we have a Pierce oscillator with a 16 mag crystal here, a standard Pierce oscillator, it has a linear CMOS stage here, the oscillator here. Here we have the bandpass filter. It's a parallel tank LC tank that's coupled by AC capacitors here. This is a linear CMOS amplifier that we studied in the last videos. In this prototype, I went with output square wave. So here I use it another gate to take the signal and square it up to get a very nice square wave on the output. So we have a crystal that is 16 meg and here 48 megahertz on the output. I think the design is very clever because this oscillator outputs a square wave here. So the output signal of the oscillator already is rich on harmonics. So we only need to filter the third harmonic here. This filter is a bandpass filter in 48 meg. 
and amplify this small harmonic to get the output frequency on the output. Let's see the circuit working on the bench. Here is the circuit working, let's see it on the scope. This is the output of the Pierce oscillator, it's a square wave with 16 meg, we can see here, 16 meg. And let's see now the output of the circuit. Look at that guys, we have here triple the frequency. We can measure, let's see here on, let's turn on a frequency measuring of the green wave and it's 48 meg there. Very nice guys, very nice. And we can see how the output frequency and phase is coherent with the input. The two signals are very stable here because this signal we are seeing here is the third harmonic of this signal here that is amplified and the output is a square wave on the screen. Now we're gonna use a transmitter analyzer that has very low phase noise to measure the phase noise of the output of our frequency multiplier. Let's see. This is the output signal and it's amazing how a so simple circuit can generate this very clean and low phase noise signal we see here. We can see that the peak is at 8 dBm and the phase noise here is 105, negative 105 dBm per hertz. So we have almost minus 112 dBm per hertz of phase noise. Very clean signal from a very simple circuit. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If so, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up to this video and see you in the next video here of Owlettronics.